sometimes we use algebra to describe a sequence. For example, 4n. We use the letter n for this and we call it an nth term. We can use the nth term to generate the terms of a sequence. To do this, we substitute n for different numbers. If we substitute n for 1, we get the first term. If we substitute n for 2, we get the second term. If we substitute it for 17, we get the 17th term, and so on. Let's generate the first five terms of this sequence with nth term 4n. To do that, we'll take several copies of the nth term and we'll substitute n for 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So if we substitute n for 1, we have 4 times 1, which is 4. So the first term must be 4. To get the second term, we substitute n for 2. So 4 times 2, which is 8. For the third term, 4 times 3, which is 12. For the fourth term, 4 times 4, which is 16. And for the fifth term, 4 times 5, which is 20. So this is the sequence that has nth term 4n. It starts 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Notice how this is just the multiples of 4, or the 4 times table. Let's also generate the sequence with nth term 5n. So we'll do the first five terms again. We'll substitute n for 1, so 5 lots of 1, which is 5. For the second term, 5 lots of 2, which is 10. For the third term, 5 lots of 3, 15. For the fourth term, 5 lots of 4, which is 20. And for the fifth term, 5 lots of 5, 25. Once again, we end up with the multiples of 5, or the 5 times table, for 5n. Let's have a look at how exam questions tend to be worded. The nth term of a sequence is 8n. Part A, work out the second term of the sequence. So we've been given this nth term 8n, and we want the second term. So all we're going to do is substitute 2 for the second term into the nth term, which is 8 multiplied by 2, which is 16. So the answer to part A is 16. For part B of the question, it says to work out the 10th term of the sequence. So we've still got the same nth term 8n, but we want the 10th term this time. So we'll substitute n for 10. So it's 8 lots of 10, which is 80. So the answer is 80. And for part C of the question, work out the 100th term. So if we want the 100th term, we substitute n for 100. So it's 8 lots of 100, which is 800. So the answer is 800. Now we'll try a more difficult question. So this time, the nth term of the sequence is a little different. It's 4n minus 3. And we're going to work out the 6th term of the sequence. So the nth term this time is a little bit different. We've got this minus 3 on the end. But we're still going to do exactly the same thing. We want the 6th term. So we're going to substitute n for 6. So instead of 4n, it's 4 times 6, but we've also got this minus 3 on the end. To do this, we do 4 times 6 first, which is 24, and then subtract 3 from that. 24 subtract 3 is 21. So the answer is 21. And if we had another question where the nth term was 2n plus 5, and we were asked to work out the 11th term. So this time the nth term is 2n plus 5, and we want the 11th term, so we'll substitute 11 for n. So instead of 2n, we've got 2 lots of 11, but then we need to add 5. 2 lots of 11 is 22, so we have 22 plus 5, which is 27. So the answer is 27. In this question, we're told the nth term is 14 minus 2n. We need to work out the fourth term of the sequence. So we've got 14 minus 2n, and we're going to substitute 4 for the fourth term. This time, the n part is the second term, but we still use the same process, we just need to be careful with our working out. So we've got 14, subtract 2n, which means 2 lots of n, and in our case, 2 lots of 4. When we do this, the order of operation says we do multiply before subtract, so we need to do the 2 times 4 first. 2 times 4 is 8, so this is 14, subtract 8. And 14 subtract 8 is 6, so the answer to the question is 6. In this question, the nth term is n squared plus 4, and we're going to work out the fifth term of the sequence. So we've got n squared plus 4, and we need to substitute in 5 for the fifth term. So instead of n squared, it's going to be 5 squared, and then plus 4. 5 squared is 25, so 25 plus 4, which is 29. So the answer, 29. This next question is one that students often make a mistake on. So it says the nth term of the sequence is 3n squared, and we need to work out the second term of the sequence. So this is our nth term, and we're going to substitute in 2 for the second term. Now some students may think you need to do 3 times 2 first for the 3n, so 3 times 2, which is 6, 
And then because it's n squared, we square this. So 6 squared, 36. But this is actually incorrect. The order of operations says we must do indices before we do multiplications. So we're actually going to do the squaring first and then the multiplication. So we should actually write this as 3 times 2 squared. We then do the 2 squared first. 2 squared is 2 times 2, which is 4. So it's 3 times 4, which is 12. So the answer is 12. For this question, it says the nth term of a sequence is n squared plus 4n. And we need to work out the tenth term of the sequence. This one's a little different because this nth term here has two n's in it. We've got the n for the n squared and the n for the 4n. Since we're working out the tenth term, we're going to substitute n for 10, but we're going to need to substitute both of them for 10. So instead of n squared, it's 10 squared, and then we need to add 4n, so 4 lots of n, which is 4 lots of 10. So we add 4 lots of 10. Now let's work this out. 10 squared is 10 times 10, and that's 100. And then 4 times 10 is 40. So it's 100 plus 40, which is 140. And the answer to the question. In this final question, it says the nth term of a sequence is 22 minus 4n. And we need to work out the value of the first negative term. Now, unlike the previous questions, it's not clear which number we need to substitute. So we're just going to substitute numbers until we get a negative term. So we'll start with 1. 22 subtract 4 lots of 1. 4 lots of 1 is 4, so it's 22 subtract 4, which is 18. So this one's not negative, so we need to keep going. Now let's do 2 for the second term. 22 subtract 4 lots of 2. 4 twos are 8, so it's 22 subtract 8, which gives you 14. Still not negative. So we keep going. On to the third term. 22 subtract 4 lots of 3, which is 22 subtract 12, which is 10. Still not negative, so we keep going. On to the fourth term. 22, subtract 4 lots of 4. 4 fours are 16, so it's 22 subtract 16, which is 6. Still not negative, but we're getting closer. On to the fifth term. 22, subtract 4 lots of 5. 4 fives are 20, so it's 22 subtract 20, which is 2. Still not negative, but we're very close now. So we'll move on to the sixth term. 22, subtract 4 lots of 6. 4 sixes are 24, so 22 subtract 24, which is negative 2. So we found the first negative term, it's negative 2. So the answer is negative 2. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next, subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos, and why not try the exam questions in this video's description.